Okay. You are the only one calling. Yeah, you go inside. I'm good, good. You not you are silent too or blow water guest? Uh, blow guest. Oh, uh, blow guest. Yeah. Good. Blow you for the Hey! Blow you for the guest. Let them all go there. And also a uh, young girls women rep, Hemsdale Lock Tent, and these are the people who will be officiating for us today in our program. This all the time by me asking them now, discipline forces, if you are somewhere falling again, and uh, the groups will uh, come after. Hem time for sit down and the three finish now, by me starting program one, for stand a little bit of sun. Uh, discipline forces by falling and then all the women's group just fall in line to uh, be here. Okay, looks like everybody's uh, falling in now, and uh, you be ready now for start an official program International Women's Day. We welcome and we follow everyone, especially our distinguished guests, our women. The disciplined forces, especially the police band, will be leading us in our official program with the anthem. Our children and our men who are here this morning. Welcome to the 2009 International Women's Day venue here at Los Tama. We shall now start our official program by inviting the seeker representative to open the program with a word of prayer. This is for a very special opening prayer for today. Close them I and we pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning that you shall be bringing me, Father, know who we are in this world that you create him. Women being responsible in our society, in our family, in our nation. Especially here Thank in the Thank you, Lord, for the program that we said for this week. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that whatever my me carry out this week, Lord, by me, this plan, glory blow you within each individual participant. Thank you for the organizers, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for those who are going to pray for us for this Father day. Especially as we follow pray and unite with them, people or women in our society, in our nation, we also ask for forgiveness. Bless us, Lord God Almighty, and may this flood day and the days that we start to front when we follow around him, this on a program by him, a blessed day for each one of us. And whatever, Lord, we follow share him this week by him, become fruitful inside and by him, make a change in our individual life so that Mipala can make a difference in our family, in our church, in our society, in our nation, Solomon Islands. This is our prayer, Heavenly Father. Be with us 
and bless us in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. To our keynote address, where uh, the Lord City Mayor Baham come deliver keynote address. Good morning, everyone. The Honorable Minister for Women's Youth and Children Affairs, Honorable Peter Tom, Deputy Australian High Commissioner, the U.S. Consular, Madam Sikua. UNESCO Rep, the hierarchy who are here with us this morning. This day once again marks the annual event that many women and men throughout the world celebrate. It is an event where women can look back and be proud of the achievement and find ways to solve our failures. The Women's Day worldwide and underlying the concepts behind it. It is my understanding that the Women's Day has been designed to reflect on what women are doing, particularly in respect of women's rights, equality, and fight against violence against women from men and also from women against women. As we celebrate in different countries, take up the challenges unique to their own, to their own settings. In this country, women issues are also unique to the existing situations. Many of you will recall the fight against violence which is a deepening campaign for our women, our sisters, and our daughters. We also know the ambitious virtue of women to be heard, more so to be represented in Parliament. This part of the campaign for equality with men in all phases of life, particularly in decision making, is an important issue that men and leadership should take the challenge. This issue relates to all, to all others that interest in the campaign for women and our fight and the issues they are fighting for and give them the right they fight for. It is my view that if men can set the issues as part of our own coexistence, then the women's campaign has to be proud of. It is therefore important that women leaders do not isolate men in collaboration to this campaign, but rather a partnership in a campaign. Having said that, I wish to acknowledge our representative from the Solomon Islands Government Ministry, the sponsors of the project, Ministry of Women and Children Affairs.